Hey, what's going on, guys? Just wanted to go ahead and check in with you guys just to let you guys know that we had a baby, it's a boy. Do you guys remember that commercial? I do. Sometimes I used to go, they used to be brought up at work. It's pretty funny. It is. I, I, always, I always got a kick out of it. But anyway, guys, um, we're just kind of chilling tonight. Um, didn't really do too much. I passed out earlier and um, didn't do a whole lot. So. What we're going to do is the dad jokes. I know we haven't done these in a while, and I'm sorry that we haven't. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing sunglasses inside at night at like 10.40 at night, because by the truck I can. No, I, I honestly just wanted to go ahead and put them on for a little bit to see how they fit. Um, I really need to find my prescription ones because I've got a pair of prescriptions and I can't find them now. So, this is one of my favorite hats. I don't wear it a lot because it is white. And it gets dirty really easy, so. I have to clean it. Like I said, i got to get some of those, those, those hat cleaner things. That, that hat rack. And these actually I got from LA, straight from straight from California, um, before all the COVID hit. Um, I had a pretty good job. Um, got sent out to, sent out to LA to go ahead and do some training for like for my job. Pretty good experience. I wish I had more time out there. I really do, but what you gonna do? You know, you, you can only be out there for like a week to train and. You know, I had to get back to to Colorado, you know, I was kind of missing it. But boy, can you feel the elevation change when you come back. So, I'm only going to do a couple pages of these short ones. Okay, so, joke number one. What do you get when you wake up in the morning and you realize you're out of coffee? A depresso. <laughs> uh, what do they serve at Bur Sorry. What do they serve at birthday parties in heaven? What kind of cake? Angel food cake. See, that could have been better if I would have... Yeah. What do clams do on their on their birthdays? They celebrate. What can a whole apple do that a half apple can't do? It can look round. Time flies like an arrow, but fruit flies like a banana. How do you fix a broken pumpkin <laughs> with the pumpkin patch? <laughs> Alright guys, this one's this one is a little bit of a it, it's it's a um it's a story one. So a woman drove to her local grocery store to do to go to go shopping in preparation for Thanksgiving dinner. After collecting the produce and other ingredients she would need. She started picking through the frozen turkeys at the store. Despite the large selection, she couldn't find a big enough turkey for the entire family. She found a stock boy and asked him, Excuse me, do these turkeys get any bigger? The stock boy, the stock boy replied, No ma'am, they're dead. <laughs> uh, that one kind of hit one, that one kind of hit it. Okay. Why do you seagulls fly over the sea? Because if they flew over the bay, they'd be, they would be bagels. Oh, on that, on that note, I'm gonna stop with the dad jokes. So anyway, guys, it's been it's been an okay couple days. Um, got a, got an eventful kind of couple about a week and a half to go ahead and get through 
before I go ahead and everything is thrown in, in the air and it's like, let it rain. You know, so kind of craziness right now. Um, also, I was, I was kind of thinking about doing, doing like, you know, what, what, like some of these other YouTubers do. And I think I, I, I still might because it's kind of funny, you know, but, you know, where they're like, you know, like they, they go, they do this number, they go, yo. Do you see him anywhere? Good, good. Yo, I stole Patriots camera. You know, that type of thing. Or, you know, where where these guys are like, it's it's the liberal, it's the ma'am. It's the, you know, it's, it, it's, it's just kind of funny. It's kind of a funny skit when they when they try to be someone else and then they come back to their, their channel and they're like, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Patriot Living. And, I don't know why I'm doing that, but <laughs> uh, I don't know. These sunglasses kind of fit me. These, these totally fit me. You know, this, this is totally my style here. So this is Patriot. Too bad I can't have music on my channel because YouTube sucks like that. It doesn't let you have music on your channel. So you have to mute it. Uh, what else is new? What else is new? I'm just kind of trying to think here. You know, honestly, it's it's been it's been a crazy couple days. It's been a good couple days actually. I really didn't do anything. I'm trying to turn on the YouTube, turn on make my TV react, and it's not reacting. But, um, you know, I, it's been kind of a crazy, not really crazy, but not me a couple days, if you don't, if you, if you get what I mean. Like, I don't know, I don't know how else to explain it. But I've been sleeping a lot, and no, I'm not pregnant. You know, like I said, it's just, it's just kind of weird, because, like, you know, right now I'm not even tired. Now, maybe I need to stop taking a nap in the afternoon, but my body's just like, shh, shut down. Don't know what that's about. Um, no, it's not a, it's none of the diseases that we're thinking. It's just, dude, are you bored? I get tired, and I'm just like, crash. Um, now, I should go to the gym on, on days like that, and I think I might tomorrow morning, just to go ahead and, and get my blood, my, my blood flowing again, you know, get, get my, my muscles pumped up again, you know, get my legs pumped up again, you know, get everything going, because, you know, honestly, I'm not getting any younger, and I don't want to sit here and, and feel like I'm, like, deteriorating or nothing, and I, 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 I know I'm not. But everything going on in the world right now, it's just kind of depressing, and it's like, yo, do I really want to get up out of bed? Why should I get out of bed? And then it's like, yeah, you know what, I kind of really need to get out of bed. So, um, where did I put it? So anyway, guys, um, I just got a, a, a suggestion on some content that I'm going to go ahead and play with. That sounds dirty. Behave. But I, I, I think I have something I want to play with here. And you know, I want, I want to, I want to get more content for you guys. You know, I want to be able to go ahead and put more content together. I want to be able to do like challenges and stuff like that. And you know, winter's coming. I'm not going to want to be fit going out there and fishing too much. Maybe in the early winter or the or the fall, but not in the not in the not in the winter. You know, that's when I'll have to start getting my you know 
oiling my, my rills and, and cleaning out my, my tackle box and finding new spots to go, new, new spots to go fishing in, um, which I'm going to be closer to a few things here soon, so stay tuned for that. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, it, it's, it's been a, you know, just lazy couple days, lazy couple days. You know, I went, I went and did some skating with mom last night, got her out of the house. Good on you, mom. We'll break the ice with the, with this camera thing here soon. And don't worry, you're not going to look nerdy or, or dorky, Mom. I, I guarantee it. You know why? You know why? You know why? Because like, you Mom. You are Mom. And I wouldn't, allow, I wouldn't allow that to happen to you, so. You know, not a lot of people like to be in front of the, the camera. Um, you know, really there for a long time, I didn't want to be in front of the camera either. I think just something sparked in me when we went into went into lockdown and I went into furlough and things like that because it was just like, you know, yo, what am I gonna do with my time? You know, and I went, what I probably should have done was go ahead and got on the phone with unemployment for that three-hour call and just did it. I mean, not. I'm glad I didn't do it at the time because I mean, certain things wouldn't have fallen in line that that I, I needed to fall in line. But you know, I probably could have made that stretch a little further too because you know I was buying these little crappy cameras and you know now I've got a good one. I've got a really good camera. You know, I've got one that's made for vlogging. You know, so there you are. Also, um, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop with the with the chew. And I'm doing these, and it seems like these are gonna be a little bit easier to, to quit. And they're cleaner. And and, if, and by cleaner, I mean, you know, I don't have a spit bottle sitting somewhere going. Do you really want to touch that? You know what I mean. So. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to that point where everything's going to be stopped and everything's going to quit and, you know, I'm going to be okay, I think. I don't know. Because eventually, if my job doesn't let me come back, i got to find something. I, I, you know, I can't sit around. You know, I can go and do, I can go and do DoorDash or whatever. You know, keep myself free and stuff. Really, where's where's? I mean, you know, we that is that is essential work, but really, I mean, what is that really amounting to? You know, I'm I'm, I'm not going to be doing anything, and you know, that I'm going to feel like one of these these uh, college kids, you know, that has to do that to be able to go ahead and get food or whatever. You know, one of these kids that are working on getting their skills and they don't have any skills yet, so. I don't know. I think that's that's a that's a job with with uh, potential of growth. You know what I mean. Um, and I need I need something corporate, something where I can go. It's my last job. I was trying to set in loot, set in um, set in roots, so I can go ahead and just be like, you know what? This is where I'm retiring from. 401k, baby. I was about to start setting that up, and then boom. The biological warfare hit, <laughs> and that's what that's what we're gonna go ahead and actually call it here on this channel, the biological warfare or the biological weapon hit. And I mean, I mean, if you really think about it, that's what it was. You know, hold on, sorry. So yeah. You know, that's that's where that's where I'm coming from, you know, like, like it came over, it, it, you know, and honestly, this is how it happened. If you guys don't look at timelines and things like that, I'm sorry, 
I'm gonna get a little bit like this right now, but you know, this is my view on it. This is what I saw as it was un it was as it was un uh, unfolding, and you know, this is where my frustration comes in. Okay, so my time went my timeline went like so. Yo, I'm reporting for work. I just came back from LA. You know, things going great, great. And then, you know, I'm sitting at work right around Christmas, right, right, you know, right before, um, right before Thanksgiving. You know, getting things, getting things ready for Christmas. And I get a call from my mom saying, you know, dad just went down. He's going to the hospital. He's on his way to the hospital. He's going to Denver General. Um, you need to get here as soon as you can. Thinking, okay, well, you know, you're kind of in shock. You know, I didn't know what to do, what to think, what to say. You know, thankfully, mom, you know, 911. Boom, they're there. Going to the hospital. Um, you know, I'm sure my sister got called me and she showed up there too. And I love you. I love you, Andy. I love you. Um, and then once my father passed away and we had our, our Thanksgiving dinner and stuff like that because we, we did we, we kind of had a Thanksgiving we had a small Thanksgiving um I, 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 did we? I don't even remember now that, that part of my life was a blur you know um you know still in shock trying to figure out what the hell is going on how could this happen you know what the what the hell you know you know, so my mind, my mind's going blah, 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 And, you know, my sister, for some reason, is able to keep her head all the time. Must be a, must be a, um, a Scorpio thing or something. You know, so, that part of my life goes out the window, and then I start seeing that, you know, there, there was a an outbreak of the COVID, and where did it where did it originate? In Wuhan, China. I'm sorry, but that's where it originated. I'm sorry if that, that offends anybody, but that's where it originated. So we get through all that. We get to you know it starts to come over. We start to try and shut down borders, and. We're being told no. That's racist. That's racist. That's racist. Okay, then quarantine people on their on the quarantine people at the airport. We're gonna have to. That's racist. That's racist. That's racist. Okay, well, whatever. Start sweeping through California, through Seattle, and all that all that western seaboard. You know, I still have a job. I'm still working. Still trying to make it. Doing pretty damn good too. I might add. You know, January, February, you know, things start getting a little bit worse, getting a little bit crazier. You know, all this back and forth between the politicians and the government and the, and the people and everything else. So, you know, I'm still going through this shit with my, with my, with my dad's death. You know, thinking, would dad have even survived this? Would he have? I mean, he would have been susceptible for it out of everybody. Out of everybody, he would have been he would have been the most susceptible to it, and that was because of his his heart conditions and stuff like that. So, oh my God, you know. So who knows? Maybe Dad had had the right idea. I mean, he passed away before all this shit happened, you know. All I know is that, you know, in the meantime, I know my mom's going through it mentally. 
my sister's going through it mentally, my kids are going through it mentally, her kids are going through it mentally, you know, not to, not to mention whatever, whatever else she had going on that I'm not allowed to say, and you know, I'm not allowed to talk about, and I won't talk about it unless I have permission. You know, maybe I might do a, a, a podcast with my sister and him, see if they're down for that, um, I don't know. Um, but, like I said, you know, I, I, I was doing great, great job, had benefits, you know, somewhere I could probably set roots into, or at least get my foot in a career path where I can go ahead and put roots into somewhere else, you know, get, the, get those job skills, son. Get those job skills, but no, I get, I, we get, we get furloughed, and I know I might, I might go ahead and, and work on my resume here soon because you know, I mean, my, I think unemployment's starting to run out, and I don't know when I'm coming back, if I'm coming back. So sadness, right? And then focus goes from. COVID to I don't even know how this happened I don't maybe y'all can fill me in because like I think I might be missing some of my brains but from COVID to all these protests and, and George Floyd you know what I mean so I mean it's been boy it's, that, that's been building for eons I mean for decades and centuries and you know like I said, I lost track of everything, you know, I'm so tired and, you know, I just want to be able to go ahead and, and get out there and work and get my life back to normal and not have to worry about, you know, if I roll down the street, am I going to get blasted on or, you know, because I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to resist arrest. I'm going to be like, you know, hey, sorry, you know. You know, I got a gun in the car, you know. I've got a concealed carry, but it's, it's in the car. I'm not going for it. Do you want me to, do you, do you want to go ahead and reach in there? Because I'm not going for it. You know, so. That's where my year's been, and my whole train of thought has been, and kept going into, and it just kind of sucks, because, you know, It sucks because, you know, I, I would like to be able to go and work. I would love to get out there and work. I don't know. I don't know where else to, where, where to go and apply at, where I was, where, you know, I could be making what I was making at my last job. I need at least that. And I'm not going to tell you how much I was making, because I'm just saying I was doing pretty good. And, you know, after 18, 18 plus years, no, it was like probably like, like 12 or 13 years, of paying child support, finally be able to get my check and my taxes and everything else, and be able to support my son and my other kids if I needed to. Oh, motherfucker, you know. Sorry, there was fur. But, you know, all I've got to say to you guys is let's keep our heads up, let's keep moving forward. You know, let's stop pointing fingers, because that is that is that very effective to you? Look, look, I have one pointing at you, but guess how many pointing back at myself? I'm just saying, quit finger pointing. Uh, don't assume anything. Don't think anything's about you. Um, this is why I'm saying, you know, this is why this is why I started saying, stay frosty, my friends. Stay, stay frosty, my friends. Okay, because the only th the only one that can keep your head about you is you. The only one that can sit there and 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 move forward and not look back is you. I don't know why my focus box keeps going bloom, 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 bloom. Is that my dad? Hey, dad. Love you. Uh, but you know, like I said, it's just, it's, it's... It sucks right now. It really does. You know, I'm gonna, I'm... 
it's at the point right now where I'm going to struggle to go ahead and actually pay rent. Well, not even really that, honestly. Well, it's not even that. You know, it, it's just, you know, I want to be able to go buy stuff. And I can't. Because I'm not working. And it's stupid. And I wish I could work. Bring me back to work, y'all. Bring me back. Please. <laughs> Also, guys, um, getting in, into the into the Halloween spirit. Um, I've been watching a channel called Creepy T, or uh, sorry, Crypt TV, on YouTube. Pretty cool. Um, you know, I wonder why I don't have very much fear, and it's because you know the things that I watch. You know, like, like I guess I'm kind of I'm kind of desensitized to everything. But I mean, the stuff that I was watching tonight was pretty cool. Um, it didn't really have me scared, but it had me creeped. You know, like, 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 ew, that's gross. So, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna start getting into the Halloween spirit here. Oh my god, water. Um, I want to start doing some, um, some Halloween, you know, hauls. Where I'm going to a Halloween store, and I'm picking up what I can, coming back and showing you, and then, voila, there goes my, there goes my jazz hands. You know, um, my, my decorations for Halloween. So... Stay tuned for that. It's that's gonna be pretty cool. I know these are kind of like. I feel like they're like that. <laughs> they're not. But let's get this going, guys. I love you guys. Nothing but love. Um, still waiting for your Q and A's. Um, I'm also gonna go ahead and um, go check out these 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 candies here that I was just told about, and I'll show you those tomorrow. But for now, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that little notification bell down on the bottom. Do it. Do it. Hit that like button. Share my video. And I try to see and see and share it too. And I thank you guys, all 35 of you, for your support. But I gotta get my, my computer and I need to go ahead and upload this video. So I love you guys. Tune in tomorrow, because I'm going to do some other things on this thing tomorrow. But I think you'll like. I think you'll like it. Patriot out. Stay frosty.